jazz blues example. Breakdown. The first is like um, a root chord in a blues, straight blues, like a seventh, so major and then seventh. And what I've done is I've added the sixth in and I've barred this across so that I've got the ninth as well. Effectively, we've got a chord which has got the seventh. That's the third, um, the six and the nine, which I would call a thirteen nine because it's got six and flat seven, thirteen plus an added nine, and this is a more comfortable fingering for it. So I've slightly changed or substituted a basic seventh there. The second chord is like the U C, which is the next chord. change to the seventh. And then I've done raised this um, octave here, done that. So it's uh, a ninth substituted for your second chord, which is that. Then the third chord would be a D7 in a blues. So here I've got this version of D7 and I drop the finger down so it's bar across so it's more like a D7 sharp 5 chord an altered chord on the 5 chord and um, we could say that this is um, Notes from a G major scale over the top. Um, that's more like a a C major. Except it's got a flattened seventh, so it's like a mixolydian version of the C major scale. These notes here, played from that position. And then here, again I'm doing the, the C mixolydian. And I, I bung in the passing note there. Like a blue note. Again, that's passing notes. sound by using, say, uh, here uh, I would have a pattern for jazz minor, which is the ascending part of the classical melodic minor scale. The root here is D, and I like that. 
But to make it altered, I do it a semitone sharp above the root of the chord I'm playing. So it's and this can be further mucked about with uh, by putting a passing note in. Altered into a jazz blues. 